Hi everybody, welcome to Live with Children here at CPA Chamberland. We're into the afternoon of day one and I'm at my good friend Sensum booth with Miha Majina who's going to tell me more about Sensum and what they're doing here this week. So Miha, first of all, how are you and how has the day gone? Ah, thanks for, for asking. I'm well, the first day was great. So I think we'll have a nice, wonderful week uh, here in Milano. Brilliant. Now, uh, for people who are not familiar with Sensum though, first of all, can you give viewers a quick overview of who Sensum are and what you do? Well, I hope there are not too many of such people that don't know who Sensum is, but nevertheless, in Sensum we make inspection machines for uh, tablet, inspection of tablets, capsules and soft gels. So we re really specialize uh, into this particular solution and we have our solution all around the world. Brilliant. Now, we've already done interviews in the past on some of your solutions, so we're not going to cover that, I know, this week. So what are you specifically looking to talk to people about this week at CPHI Milan? Well, well, my idea was to maybe give a bit of insight also what is inside of the machines because the outside we can see here on exhibition. So I wanted to speak about AI, artificial intelligence in pharma. Fine, well let's talk about that. So tell us how you're incorporating AI into your systems. Yeah, so m m things that I will say today uh, will be of course from the point of view of our machines but these things can be also generalized to other AI solutions. So I want to speak about more than two things. First, why we use AI and also what are the hurdles, what are the difficulties when we use this. Right, far away. So, so, so if you think of first why we use it. Now this answer will not come with any surprise. Uh, we use it because we can do things that we could not do before. We could do them better. Let's say in our case, we can find defects on the products which we could not find before. Now, but here we have to be a bit careful because we don't just use AI left and right everywhere we, we can, we use it where it needs to be used. For example, if I have a capsule and I want to measure the length of a capsule, I will not use AI for that. No. Length on a, on a capsule we can measure old fashioned way, we take a picture of a capsule, we measure the pixels on the picture and we convert this to millimeters. And this kind of system is still running. But there are some things where we have to use AI in order to really find them and distinguish them uh, on our products. And, and for example, uh, this could be like a pinhole on a capsule. Pinhole can look on a picture also like a black spot. Right. So is it a black spot or is it a pinhole? This is a big, big difference uh, for, for end user because a pinhole is a critical difference. On the other hand, a black spot is just a visual defect. And these kind of things, AI is helping us. Right. So, so now this is the good part. The good, the, but there is also a second more dark, dark part of AI. And first of all, setting up AI solution is not walking, walking in the park. You need to set up big databases. Sometimes we have to prepare manually hundreds and thousands of samples which we have to then add to these databases. And, and making these samples is, is very tedious. You have to be consistent, precise, because AI follows the rule garbage in, garbage out to, to the letter. Right. If you put really bad samples into your database, the, the end solution will not work. So here you have to put a lot of effort into getting this solution out. And once you're done, ha, maybe you have to repeat the whole procedure for a bit different product. So this part, this part is, is, is kind of difficult, but it's not the worst. It usually comes on the shoulders of suppliers, not on the end user, the pharma people. What is difficult on the pharma people is that when they get this kind of solution, it's kind of black box. And black box is how do you qualify a black box? So yeah, you know what's the input, you know what's the output, but wait. What if your black box doesn't work the way you want? Hmm. In that case, you don't know how to troubleshoot the black box. You don't know how to set this black box. Suddenly, the, the, the whole system becomes very hard to understand and to set up and to qualify. And I think in Sensum, we really overcome this hardness in a really efficient and elegant way. And that's why all our machines are successfully qualified and, be, and using this AI as well uh, uh, in everyday production uh, facilities. Brilliant, okay. Well, uh, I've got one question for you though. Um, you talked about AI obviously and you've got some machines here. 
why should people work with Sensum rather than some other companies? What makes what your solution is unique and different? Well, this is in the, in the sales approach. Uh, so, um, first of all, when it comes to inspection, the two, there are two important parameters. Do you find the defects and also do you accidentally throw good products away? Now, this is only a small fraction of why you use one supplier from, a, from another. Because at the end, at the end uh, it's not just the machine must work today, it yeah. must work for next several years, 10 years. And just right now, I have a, I have a supplier, customer, who is asking to upgrade the machine, and it's almost 20 year old machine. So I think Sensum, in Sensum, what we are recognized as is that we are really long-term partner. Not that machine become obsolete over seven or eight or maybe 10 years and you have to kick them from the production by new ones, but that you can really use the machine for a longer period and this, in this way, get a very good value uh, from the machines in their lifetime. Brilliant, well, Mia, thank you very much for that. It's lovely to see you again, my friend. So there you go, if you're here at CPHI, come and talk to Mia and the rest of the team at Sensum. Learn more about all their solutions and how they're incorporating AI into their technology. If you can't do that, then meet them at many other events throughout the year, and also follow them on LinkedIn and their website. So Mia, it's always a pleasure to see you, my friend. Have a great time in Milan. And viewers, until next time, as always, stay well and stay safe. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.